Alright, so this is what, uh, this is a slightly more fun, I would say, um, lesson that Tinkercad provides. So we're going to make a key ring with your name on it. Alright, that's not interesting. Let's go on. Time to get creative. Design one for your friends or for yourself. Start by dragging the letters to the red base. Okay, so now, um, there's a few steps we have to take before we start dragging. Firstly, right now, the workplace is kind of in a zoomed out mode. So what are we going to do? We're going to zoom in. So let's go on ahead and zoom in. All right, we zoomed in. Now we should change our perspective. Right mouse click, shift like this. So now we can see on the top and we can see how we're moving. Some tips, when we're moving small letters in small increments, it is helpful to move using your arrow keys. For example, I'll just click on P. I'm gonna press my down arrow key. You see it just moves by a tiny little increment. Now, another useful thing to do, another th useful thing to use as well, is to use this snap grid settings, which is right here. Let's change it to 0 0.25 millimeters. What the snap grid does is that when you're moving objects, the snap grid will automatically say say um say if you're set on one millimeter for your snap grid. That means that if you accidentally dropped your uh, if you dropped a letter right in between zero and zero point one millimeters from the measuring point, for example, it would automatically bounce you to either zero or zero point one. That is extremely not accurate, especially if you're dealing with very detailed designs. For this reason, we're going to use a snap grid setting of zero point two five millimeters. This is a little bit, this is actually much more accurate. Okay, so let's go on ahead and drag over some letters. For demonstration purposes, I'm just going to drag over the letters that are mentioned here, which spells out the name Katie, um, just because I don't like want to be biased in any way. So let's just go. I'm just going to go on ahead and do this. For yourself, use your own name, um, unless you're like extremely worried about privacy. But I mean, there's nothing really to fear from this. So let's just go on ahead and do this. I'll show you how to do it with Katie. I'll have to zoom out a bit. Okay, let's select the letter K. Alright, so we selected the letter K, left mouse click, drag, let's move it over. Perfect. K, A. I found a tip for dragging is that you first click on it until it's selected and then you drag. Or else sometimes it will go into that multi multiple highlighting mode. You know, where you just click on an empty space on the work plane and then you drag. We don't want that. K-A-T. Click. Drag. I. Click. Drag. Say, for example, I accidentally did this. So if I don't want to use my mouse, I can just use my arrow keys. Left, left, left arrow key, down a bit. You see, I'm nudging it right into position. E, left mouse click, drag. Adjust a bit. And we are good. Resize the red base. Now adjust the size of the red base to fit your name. Now Katie has a very small, a uh, very short name here. So what's the use of all this extra red space? Let's go on ahead and get rid of it. It's easy to resize the base by using the black dot on the right of the model. So I just clicked the base itself, click the black dot right here at the very end, right here, click on it, drag, and just eyeball it. Maybe right about there is good, right? Continue to the next step. 
Now let's do a little cleanup work by removing any leftover letters. So this is where, uh, this is where it's very useful to use the to use our. This is where it's very useful to use our left mouse click and drag on any empty space in the work plane trick. Let's do, go ahead and do that. Select all those letters. Okay, I've selected all the letters. Release. Then press the delete key on your keyboard to remove the selected letters. Now the delete keyboard is usually next to your home or your number pad or and above your backspace. So I'm just going to press delete right now. However, alternatively, you just press Control Z. You can go ahead, select all of them, and go up to this toolbar where it says delete. And that's trashed. Continue to the next step. Now group the leftover shapes into a single object. Select all the remaining shapes, left mouse click, drag. You see, isn't this so useful? You just left mouse click and drag and it selects everything. Let's go on ahead and select group. Control G or go up to the top toolbar. Now we have effectively grouped together the entire the entire keychain. Right? Looks nice. Continue the next step. Alright, we're good. Good job. 